All right, guys. It's evening time. It's about 25 minutes, 30 minutes before sunset. Looks like it's going down behind me. A lot of cloud cover, though, so probably not going to see a whole lot of it. But I come up here almost every night, and I stand up here on the roof, and I just kind of ponder life. I just think about things. I just let my mind kind of wander and catch up from the events of the day and so what I thought I would do since I'm up here anyways and I'm thinking about things and talking to myself about things that I would start recording these and saying things out loud that I'm thinking in my head as I stand here on the roof and look at beautiful Shanghai even though it's cloudy today I don't think we're going to get one of the uh, epic sunsets that this patio is famous for. But today I want to talk about something that has been on my mind for over a week. And I've just been thinking about it and thinking about it and thinking about it. And it's this book I read last week and it's called 4,000 Weeks and it's by Oliver Berkman. And so the concept is basically a time management book. but it's not your basic kind of like getting things done, David Allen. It's not like a business book. It's more of a philosophy book. And what Berkman argues and sets out uh, in a pretty well-reasoned, well-argued way is that we as humans will live about 4,000 weeks. I don't know about you guys, but that sounded way too short especially when you, can, when you consider that I'm 48 years old and more than half of those allotted weeks are already gone. Now this is on average, but the longest recorded human in world history only lived 6,400 weeks. <clears throat> so she was a French woman, I think, from, uh, she lived up to 122. So, averages average life expectancy is about 80 so that gets you about you know 4100 weeks give or take men don't live as long as women on average so you know here i am and then i got to figure it figured out that based on my age and taking the averages i have about 1600 weeks left and that's at best at least if averages have anything to do with it. So the question becomes, how do I want to spend these 1600 weeks? What do I want to do with my life for the next 1600 weeks? That sounds criminally short. It sounds horrifying when you think about it that way. But if you let your mind get crystal clear and if you let your thinking get hyper focused around what you actually want to do with that time then it can also be incredibly liberating so you know I think it was I think it was Mae West uh, early American actress she said something along the lines of yeah it's true everybody only gets one life but if you do it right you don't need any more now I'm not sure if I've lived up to that my whole life uh, you know there's been years where I've really embraced it there's been years where I've kind of wasted my potential wasted my life wasted those weeks and I'm making a vow to myself that I'm not gonna waste any more weeks I'm not gonna waste any more time so the shirt I'm wearing memento mori so what this means is to remember death. Remember that you could leave life at any moment. And it seems a bit morbid. It seems a bit, uh, you know, I don't know, pessimistic. But if you do it right, it's actually, again, incredibly liberating. Because if you remember death, if you meditate on the fact that you're gonna die, that we're all gonna die, nobody gets out of life alive as I think it was Jim Morrison saying, you know, it, it focuses you. It makes your mind like a sword. 
you don't want to waste time anymore. You don't want to do stuff. Shit, I was going to say. You don't want to do shit that you don't want to do. You don't want to spend time with people that you don't want to spend time with. You don't want to work somewhere that you don't want to work. You don't want to waste those weeks. You know, a lot of us have worked jobs that sucked our soul, sucked our will to live. That's not necessarily the case with my current work, but I spend most of my career at other companies that I absolutely hated. I was absolutely miserable. Um, there's a funny quote from Dolly Parton and it says something like, you know, we're all so busy making a living that we don't have time to make a life. And that was so true for me for so many years, decades, decades, my thirties, all of my thirties, mid twenties, to pretty much all my 30s for 15 years, I was just so busy trying to figure out how to get ahead, how to get a better job, how to survive the job that I was in without you know, getting too depressed or miserable. And you know, if your job, if your career, if your day to day doesn't echo back to the things you value, you're wasting your weeks. You're wasting portions of that 4,000 weeks. And we can't do that. We have one shot. We have one life. We have one precious life. And far too many of us waste it. Far too many of us don't live in accordance with our values. We don't take that risk. We don't go and do the thing we've always dreamed of because we're too scared. Scared for what? Scared for what? Like, what are you scared of? What are we scared of? What was I scared of my entire 20s and most of my 30s? There's nothing to be afraid of. Because death will claim us no matter what. We all end up in the same place. Maybe we do it at slightly different times. We might do it uh, in different circumstances. But let's be very clear. We will all die. All of us have around 4,000 weeks to live if we're lucky. The lucky of us get 4,000 weeks. Far too many of us get far less than that. And so has been the story over the eons in human history. So these are the kinds of things I think about when I come up to the roof. It's a lot of pressure. The dogs sit here and they listen to me and typically I don't say it out loud, it's all internal. But I think they can tell, I think they can tell my heavy heart and my heavy mind as I think about these things. So yeah, basically, 4,000 hours, okay? How are you going to spend those precious 4,000, sorry, I said hours, weeks. How are you gonna spend those 4,000 weeks? Don't waste it, don't waste it. Memento mori, remember you can die at any moment. Any of us can slip from this life immediately without time to say goodbye, without time to put our things in order, without time to actually live our dreams and I mean, it's like moments of clarity that I get when I sit with these realizations, I sit with this wisdom from, from the ancient philosophers, right? This isn't me, this isn't me coming up with this stuff. I'm not that smart. But this is the beauty of reading, this is the beauty of investigating life, this is the beauty of self-reflection, sitting at, in a quiet place at night and asking yourself, what do you believe? What do you want to do with these precious 4,000 weeks? For me right now, I want to live in accordance with my values. I want to create art. I want to spend time with the people I love and I can't right now because of the situation in the world. That's really all I want to do. I don't care about the money. I don't care about making more money. I've made all the money. I've made a lot of money. I've been broke and I've not and I've been not broke. I mean, I'm not a, a millionaire or anything, but you know, I've been in both sides of the game is my point. And my happiness quotient didn't really differ that much between when I was broke and when I was not broke. So, what do you want to do? What do you want to do with these 4,000 weeks? 
I'm gonna leave you with that. I'm gonna leave you with that. I want you to go ponder it. I'm gonna go ponder it. I'm gonna go continue thinking. I'm gonna pace back and forth on this roof. I'm gonna wear down a path through this wood because I don't have anywhere to sit yet because I haven't bought any furniture yet because I've been too busy at work. I've been too busy making a living and not making a life. That's gonna change, that's gonna change. One day at a time, one week at a time. I'm gonna put things back in order. Anyhow guys, sorry I got really fired up today, but when I come up here and I get the fresh air, well, I guess partially fresh air, it's China, you never know for sure. Uh, it's a beautiful view. Even though I've got construction noise off over here, I don't care. It's a beautiful spot. I'm happy to be here, I'm happy to be alive, I'm happy to be still enjoying one of these 4,000 weeks, <laughs> one of these 1,600 weeks I have left. And uh, yeah guys, take some time, ponder this, think on it, and let your values, let your heart be your guide as you move forward. The rest is just bullshit. <laughs>